Okay, so what is a boundary? A boundary is just a property line. That's the simplest way, like how we have fences around things. We understand with fences, it's basically saying this is my property and something happens in this property. Like there's this property is for use. And unless you're invited in, like don't cross the fence line, right? Like we understand that. Walls around buildings, fences, we understand that. Somebody owns it. Somebody is responsible for taking care of it. And um, anybody who is outside of that responsibility needs permission to use that property. Okay. Um, okay, and now in Kentucky, I lived in Kentucky for about six or seven years while my husband was doing residency. And the fields there are gorgeous. Like just like 100, 200, 700 acres of just gorgeousness mode for one horse, two horses, three horses. And then they have fences around everything, the beautiful Kentucky white fences. And we, I noticed that there's would be two fences around the same like pasture area. And since I know how expensive fences are, I was always like, why, why, why would you do that? Um, and we thought maybe trucks could drive through, but lots of the times they would be bushes, which really added confusion. So I finally was like, I have to figure out like, why are they doing this? And um, turns out that the fences are to keep you away from the horses and the horses away from you or like neighboring horses and in, in, in like neighboring corrals. It keeps the horses away from each other because you can still walk up to the fence and pet and stroke these millions of dollars worth, you know, these horses. I pet a horse once that was like $70 million, <laughs> like just poof, right? <laughs> so if you start to mess around with that horse or like, or if that horse bites you, it's all kinds of liability. And then you have these hot tempered horses. If it's just one fence, then they can get at each other over the fence. So there's two fences to keep everything away from each other. And that's how your boundaries are. You have an internal boundary, and you have an external boundary. Both of the boundaries are for your protection, your responsibility, your decision. But one is to keep you inside. That's where like you are responsible for your thoughts. You are responsible for your emotions, for the way you use your resources, your time, your energy, right? How you treat people, the words you use, all of those things. You own that. You are responsible for caring all of that. And then you have your external boundary, which is what you say, um, how you let other people into your life. Um, and it keeps their crap on their side, their emotions, the use of their resources, um, their expectations, um, all of those things. It keeps them on that side. And then you have a gate. That external boundary has a gate. And you decide who comes in and how they use your property, how they use your time, how they use your energy. You decide. And you just like kick them right on out and close that gate when it's right. And each person in each situation you work in, um, the, the fence is, it's a fence. It's not a brick wall. It's not like, I think a lot of times we think I'm either an open pasture or I'm like a brick wall with broken glass on the top and wires. Like there's, but I think that's one of the reasons why we're afraid of boundaries is we think it's just like that gross, isolating kind of like, like complete shutout sort of a thing. Um, but it's not, it's a fence line and you can put your fence line wherever you want to and you can open that gate anytime you want to. It's your property, you get to decide. And we get messed up in the boundaries when we don't understand who owns what. Um, mm -hmm. And then the other thing is we understand we own it. Like we understand that this is my time or my energy. And I would like, like I have the fence there, but other people don't give a crap. They still come in. They still ask me to do things. They still don't hold up their end of the bargain. Like all those kinds of things. Well, like, well, then what do I do? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. I think the example that prompted this last time was there's a girl around town who's saying mean things about me. She's slandering um, my reputation or like we didn't get the full details, but so those kinds of things. Um, and important to know is boundaries are not about changing somebody's behavior. It's not about controlling or changing their behavior. Boundaries do influence somebody's behavior, but only in regarding to how they interact with you. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're not going to say um, you can never do this. It's just when you're with me or when you're on my property or when you're around me, this is the behavior that I expect. And if that boundary isn't respected, 
then I simply withdraw myself and you don't get to use my property anymore. And then the consequences are really important. Um, if there's a boundary violation, there, there's probably not a good consequence. There has to be a consequence or it just becomes nagging, which is like the word that women, we don't want to be a nagger. <laughs> It's just not efficient. And that's what, what, that's what happens is you're stating your boundary over and over, but there's no consequence. So there's no, um, respect. Yeah. There's just no respect for it. It like, it doesn't, mm -hmm. whatever you yeah. have the fence line, but if somebody doesn't respect fences and they climb over and they start to steal your property, like, well, the guns, literally the guns might need to come out, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Otherwise the fence is just for fun. An obstacle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, um, 